we only need about that much onion. Technically, we probably don't even need that much. That should be enough garlic for what we're doing. So these are tomatoes from my garden. These are Roma tomatoes. I'm just gonna be kind of removing the tops here. Now, you may be looking at this saying, well, you know, this looks just like you're making a salsa. And guess what, you're right, you're right. Um, the big difference between guacamole and salsa is just guacamole's got avocado in it. All right, so we gotta take the lime, we gotta roll it up, and we're gonna put the juice of one lime inside here. And when you go shopping for limes or, or lemons, you wanna always get one that is heavy for its size. Because by doing so, you know you're gonna get one that's got a lot of juice. There's nothing worse than getting a lime, cutting it open, squeezing, and you only get one teardrop of lime juice out. To me, that's totally unacceptable because they usually do it like two for a dollar or whatever. And you just, you know, spent 50 cents for a dry lime. So I've got some kosher salt here. And for what we've got, that's actually, you know something? That's enough. So we have to add a little bit of black pepper. This is just regular black pepper. That'll be enough. I have to admit, this is one of the strangest things I've ever had to do where I'm just doing two videos at once and trying to pretend that I'm not. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to grab some cilantro here. That is more than enough cilantro. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to mix it all up. And there's a lot of liquid in the tomatoes. We also end up having salt inside here that's going to draw even more liquid out. We have a little bit of lime juice inside there. Okay. But if you find that your um, salsa here is a little too dry, you can always add just like a little bit of uh, white vinegar to it, okay, in order to kind of get that acid going. Now, what I'm going to do, just to make sure that we have enough acid, I am going to add about a half of a cap of vinegar to that. Now, of course, how hot are we going to make it? Well. I just got one jalapeno, and I don't want this uh, guacamole to be overpowering, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put maybe only that much jalapeno in here. Now, it is important that we dice this up very, very finely, because if not, you might get a big chunk of jalapeno and go, oh my God, just too much, just too much. So if we can just keep it really small, it'll give it just enough heat that you can sit there and say, ah, this is just enough heat that I say, ah. Okay, so this has been in there for about 12 hours. And like I said, it's better if you let it set for like 24 to 48. But at the same time, I got things I gotta do. So we're just gonna have to speed the process up here. Um, I've got a couple of avocados here. I have a video talking about how to pick uh, good avocados when you're at the store so that way you don't get one that's like overly ripe or bruised or whatever and what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys the part near the stem I usually end up taking out And then we're going to come in here and just kind of mash this. As long as it's ripe, it should mash easily. The thing is, is, as soon as we start doing this, it's going to want to start oxidizing and turning brown. But that's why we have the lime juice and everything inside the salsa. Plus the tomatoes have some acidity to it. If you're really worried about it, you can crush up a vitamin C tablet. And put it in there. So we want to take a few heaping spoonfuls of this right here. And this we can save for chips or whatever else. 
And there you go, guys. Guacamole. Mmm, looks good. Are you sure it's not going to turn brown? Shouldn't, because of the acid in that. Mmm. Oh my gosh, glare. Is that all the salsa? The only salsa? No, oh. that's only a little bit of the salsa. The rest of the salsa is in the Oh good. my god, I can eat this entire thing. Oh, I don't... That's supposed to be eating good this weekend, but I have all the That food. is eating good. Mmm. Not sure. And then we want to drink. And... Anyway guys, that's that. That's how you go about making guacamole. And then... People are going to have different recipes for it, but I'm going to tell you, this one right here is a winner. Mm. I've never had anybody complain about this one. And this, of course, right now would be considered fresh because we just mixed it. But after it sets for a while, um, it'll actually taste better. People are always afraid it's going to turn brown. But it usually doesn't because of the acid that's in the salsa. And also, if you end up putting a piece of saran wrap over it and you kind of push down so oxygen can't get to it, that also slows it down. So, anyway, guys, that's that. Till next time. Talk at you later.